All right, level 16. Hail deputies! Welcome back. I'm picking him up right where I left off in the last episode, and I'm going to head south to this possible other cave location and kind of scout it, scout it out. It's uh, yeah, we need to cross the river at some point. Hello, Wabbit. There's a bridge. I like that the rivers are now deeper and wider because I think that's more realistic than the way it was in the old uh, 10.4. They were kind of narrow and shallow. Okay, somewhere around here. Here it is. Cave okay, intervents. Alright, I hear zombies. I'm hunted. Who's hunting me? Come get me, zombie. I wanna get you taken care of so I can go into the cave. Or not. I think I'm just gonna go in. You guys are taking too long to get to me. Oh crap, hold on. Alright, I am back. I um, had a phone call and that was my cardiologist's office. He said that my stress test showed that my heart was normal. So that's good. So evidently my heart has stabilized. All the things that, the issues that I was having when I was diagnosed two years ago, they seem to have um, normalized now. So that's good. I'm gonna live. <laughs> Looks like we have lots of iron here. And, uh, yeah, part, part of, you know, I think I do, you know, have this heart issue that I have to take this medicine for, and I think the medicine does help me. This looks like it might be cool. Um,. here <clears throat> but when I was initially uh, diagnosed I am um, the reason that I went to the cardiologist in the first place wasn't because of symptoms or anything although I did I did have symptoms but I was just kind of in denial about it and ignoring it but I had to have surgery because I had cancer and uh, they said that they wouldn't do the surgery unless I had a clearance from the doctor and the doctor sent me to the cardiologist because I had an irregular EKG so I had to go and get the cardiologist to clear me for the surgery and uh, he cleared me, put me on medications I had the surgery and I'm now cancer free. So the surgery removed all the cancer. So now you know my medical history. <sighs> oh my goodness, it gets so it's, my stamina gets so depleted so easily. Okay, let's see. Uh oh my goodness, I hear screechers. 
Um, I hear a horde. I'm gonna repair my pickaxe. You know, if a horde comes down here, I'm just gonna be so screwed. Because I'll be trapped. I need this coal though. So I guess I'll pause while I do this. All right, I dug out all of this area. This was full of coal, and there's still more coal there. I have two stacks plus one, and I wanna leave, and hopefully a horde will not catch me, because I did hear screechers. I also, um, Well, I heard I heard a horde that sounded like it went over my head on the surface. And I heard screechers, so I'm hoping they don't see me and it's getting dark. Uh so I wanna leave. Yeah, so I will leave and head home. And I hear some zombies. Coffee. Ooh, bird's nest. I need for those. So I'm happy. I now have coal and now that I have lots of resources like I have coal, I have iron, I have lead, I have potassium. Now I can start giving consideration towards uh, where I'm going to build my base and what type of base I'm going to build. And I kind of have an idea in my head for what kind of base I want to build. You know, things have changed now. We have Gorblox to contend with and so forth. And uh, this is the end of the river, which I'm sure it ends like this because of the changes in the XML. Because, like, this part that I'm on now was generated in Alpha 11.0. Before I change any XML files, and then the other part, the part that has the river there, was generated at a later date. So, hello, Zomber! He 
you gotta you gotta have some zombie killage every episode, right? I mean, what's seven days to die without zombies? <laughs> ah. There's home sweet home. Complete with a gore block. Those world blocks look pretty recent because they were still in the zombie body form and then hadn't de degraded to the block form and I wasn't even here. So, okay, I'm going to do some inventory maintenance and I'll be back. And I am having a horde. Uh, I'm cooking an antibiotic. I made a healing kit. I'm cooking some coffee. Um, I'm gonna have me some uh, venison. Eating good quality food like venison and bacon and eggs helps your wellness and uh, also drinking drinks like goldenrod tea also helps wellness well they sound loud and close Okay, I need three of these. I'm going to take a piece of coal and turn it into lumps. It only does five lumps. It used to do uh, ten, but they nerfed it a bit. So let's see, if a lump of coal gives you 40 seconds, and let's see, you get five of them, and a piece of coal gives you six minutes and 40 seconds. then you're not getting I think the lumps of cold used to be more equivalent because now if you get five of these and they're only 40 seconds you're not getting the same burn value as using the whole ore So using lumps of coal to burn is is inefficient. Um, inefficient. More efficient to say use some barn wood. <laughs> okay, I'll put this here. But for if you're gonna burn something for a very long period of time, this is very efficient. Six minutes and forty seconds to burn. So. Whereas you look at 
a wood log. It's three minutes, 12 seconds. Sounds like another wandering horde. Sounds like a zombie hit a gore block. Sounds very loud and very close. Dogs hitting that house. I guess I missed him. Hmm, I killed him. So I guess I got some experience points for that, and that's good. But why don't they just go around the house instead of through it? Because, uh, you know. It's taking forever to go through the house. <laughs> They're just so stupid. Stupid zombies! Stupid, stupid zombies. More dogs. I didn't think it was dog day. Yeah, throw yourself on the spike, stupid dog. Too bad I don't get experience if they die on a spike. <laughs> Where is that stupid dog anyway? There's a dead dog. Boy, you zombies sure are noisy. Well, they broke something. Yeah, I got coffee and stuff planted there. I got corn, goldenrod, potatoes, coffee. Yeah, good stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I need to find a good location uh, to build my fort. I might build on this lake. Because that's what I'm thinking. Because water destroys gore blocks. And you can build a floating fortress on a lake. And then the zombies can't reach you. And if you put spikes under it they'll kill themselves in the spikes while they try to reach you. So it seems like the most defensive and desirable fort. So that's my plan. I'm going to check out this lake when it gets daylight. Which it almost is. I think I'm going to have to kill the dog first. Because, uh, wish I knew where that dog was. Of course I could just leave and leave the dog to his devices. But yeah. 
I'll make some more wood frames. And I want to get some more wood before I head out. My frame rates seem to be low for some reason. I had, I think it's because of the zombies. I mean, I had been getting some pretty good frame rates. Uh, maybe it's because some of my gardens ready for harvesting. Because I think that my frame rates take a hit when, whenever those plants are ready. Um. So it's morning now. I'm gonna go over here and check my stuff. Okay, it looks like most of it's not ready yet. But I got some corn that is ready. the first corn that I planted. Got some gore blocks to deal with here. With here. Can't believe the league is to the south. Yep. I'm gonna have to deal with the dog. Where is that stupid dog? Level 16. Okay, let me get rid of this dog flesh, which I have no desire to have, and I don't need a bone either. I'm going to, um, go check out this lake. Which is this way? Man, these zombies seem so loud. Uh, To, uh, oh, this guy's seen me. I want to adjust my sound, but I don't want to do it if a zombie's on my tail. Okay, 
am undetected at the moment. Audio. Alright, let's go check out this lake. Looks like a nice big lake. I hope it's nice and deep. Oh, it looks pretty deep. I don't know if it's deep enough, but it might be sufficient. The deeper the better. We have some cliffs over there. this is so I mean it's pretty deep but it's not colossally deep it's deep enough to build on I want to get on the other side and kind of scout around so I can see the shape of the lake and Nurse, do you have something good for me? You didn't, but he did. He gave me a pain pill. I like getting those. Okay, so I can kind of see the size of the lake there. Where are you, zombie that I hear? That error has something to do with the uh, light on the mining helmet. And I think it might be in relation to using a crossbow. There's some sort of issue with using crossbows and having the light. Because when you have when you switch your crossbow if your miner's light is on the light will start flickering and if you try to turn the light off you'll get that error message we got a lurchy in the water and another zombie in the water I want to check out this other lake to the south in case it's more appealing oh I want the bird's nest 
Most definitely want the bird's nest. So it is time to call the episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, tell me how I can improve. And... Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? You should subscribe and get notifications of my daily videos on YouTube. So, see you next time. Bye. Are you a nice doggy? Uh, evidently not. Yeah!